With games like Flight Simulator, Truck Driving Simulator, and Farming Simulator, it's about time there was a game that delivered something for everyone, and within the ultra-realistic confines of virtual reality. In the far-off future, robots have entirely taken over the workplace for humans, making the idea of a job obsolete, and the very concept has since found its place in a museum. Thanks to the technology of virtual reality, humans have the opportunity to see what these jobs were like back in the day. A true grease monkey. Get under the hood and get your hands dirty in our simulated mechanics shop. Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Auto Mechanic. Job Simulator contains four different jobs to play through. The office worker, the gourmet chef, the convenience store clerk, and the auto mechanic. As the day goes on, various tasks are presented to the player and need to be carried out to proceed, oftentimes with humorous results. Wow, you cook those books like a professional gourmet chef. The writing in this game is essentially based on a vague understanding of how futuristic cultures might come to understand the past. And the jokes tend to hit their mark pretty well. Oh, that's great! Uh, one more thing though. I wanted to have some romantic music playing while I do it, but I forgot to burn this disc. Could you burn it for me? To show affection for one another, humans of the past would burn music onto primitive storage devices called discs. The details of the burning procedure have largely been lost to history, but it must have had something to do with heat. Oh, that'll be perfect! Thank you so much! Uh, make sure you load the disc into the boombox and hit- The objectives accept quite a bit of freedom for their solutions. Auto mechanics are offered a wide variety of options for replacement parts, and the gourmet chef never needs to worry about what flavor of smoothie that they serve. Once every task has been completed for each job, a couple of modifiers are unlocked, such as low gravity mode. Nothing special, but it's fun to mess around with. I gotta give huge credit to the developers for their implementation of the motion controls. It's not perfect, and I don't think Sony's move controllers ever will be perfect, but as long as those glowing lollipops at the end of the sticks are within the camera's viewpoint, it tracks them really well. I've even noticed a few times when my virtual hands weren't synced up properly, but after turning the motion controller around a few times, it quickly went back to normal. Something that would normally require more in-depth calibration is instead fixed on the fly. Job Simulator is well-written and it controls well, but there's not really a whole lot to the gameplay. It's cool that a ton of objects can be picked up and played with, and there are quite a few little easter eggs hidden in the environment. However, there is no difficulty whatsoever to this game. In fact, there is no pressure or time limit or failure state at all. Sometimes there is a very slight variation in events, such as typing in the wrong login password into your work computer, but this is a pretty rare and unnoteworthy occurrence. It's also possible to accidentally softlock the game. When an important item is thrown out of reach, it's meant to be returned to the player. However, the game can fail to recognize this and place the player in an unwinnable state. Thankfully, each section of a job can be easily loaded up and progress is constantly saved. So even when this rare occurrence pops up, it's never a big deal. I should also mention that, although it is well written, the jokes do start to get stale towards the end because its theme and approach never really changes. It's hilarious when a recipe for cake requires flour, but then it becomes predictable when a criminal holds you up for your cheddar. I'm gonna buy a new pair of shoes. By the time I'm pouring headlight fluids onto headlights, I was saying, okay, I get it. That's not to say that it's not funny, but it carries the longevity that one would expect from a one-trick pony. A later update added the infinite overtime mode for free. 
Hello, human. You worked the nine to five, but are you ready for infinite overtime? Here, a series of randomly generated tasks are offered to the player. So if you really can't get enough of Job Simulator, then there you go. Each job isn't going to take more than an hour to complete, not counting infinite overtime. So the whole game should take about three and a half to four hours. It's a really short game, but I can't really think of any way to extend it, or if it should even be extended at all. The game needs to be changed at a fundamental level and be made deeper overall, perhaps with performance evaluations or branching paths based on player choices or actions. This would make it feel less like a funny tech demo, and much more so like a full-fledged game. It's hard to say that this game is worth buying because $20 is a bit much for what is essentially a glorified joke book. I went for it right away after playing the free demo because I expected a lot more out of it. But instead, it just ended up being more of the same. As long as you're okay with that, then yeah, go for it. It's a pretty funny game. If you're expecting more, then you might be better off getting it during a significant sale, if at all. Jobbot says, get to work. I'm a computer. All work and no play makes Jobbot happy. Thank you for watching my review of Job Simulator, the 2050 archives. I'm a computer. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe. And no play makes job but happy. I love my job. Somebody help!